Hey YouTube, it's Natural State of Mind here. I'm here with a tutorial. I know y'all probably looking at me like, what in the world is going on in her head? So these are coral formers, coral formers, sorry. If you haven't already um, ran across any videos, they're um, rollers um, that are kind of unconventional that allow you to get um, a kind of press and curl look without the press or the curl or the heat so you don't have to sit under a dryer. So I'm just finishing up my head. And so I thought that I'd just show y'all how to do it real quick with these last couple ones I have left um, in the front. So what I'm doing is I'm just sectioning off a piece of my hair like whatever I feel like is enough for the roller. It can be however small or big as you want. Um, and then I'm using Silk Elements Foaming Style Lotion. I got this today at Sally's. Along with um, a new curl former rod because I broke mine. I was trying to bend it in the wrong direction. And I broke it. So I'm just using this for a little hold. And then what I'm doing, which I haven't done in the past, is I'm using a fine tooth comb and calm down. I've already detangled my hair with a tangle teaser. But um, I found that when I've done curl former sets in the past, um, my ends weren't. Um, they come out kind of fluffy or frizzy, just not, you know, feeling straight. So I decided to try to use a fine tooth comb to silken up my hair to get all the tangles out. Um, before I put these uh, curl formers in. And so you can see I'm being really careful because I don't want to lose any hair, break any hair because um, I wouldn't advise anybody to use a fine tooth comb in their natural hair for uh, any other reason other than parting your hair or possibly this if you're trying to get a smooth roller set. So, alright, so this is what you do. Here's the curl former. I'm going to show y'all more in detail later, but this is the roller. Let's do this. This is the hook, the rod. You, it has two openings, right? It's the same opening. This is kind of rubbery. You stick the rod into the opening and then you just slide it up, right? Up until about this point where there's this, you know, hook part. And so your hair goes into here and then you slide the roller up. So as such, let me show y'all. So what I'm doing, I put the, um, foaming wrap lotion setting lotion whatever you want to call it onto it already so i'm just going to i twisted my hair twice just like twist twist to um so you can get a smooth set at the um base of your head so you just stick this hook in um you push the rod the roller up and then you pull the rod uh oh there you go i know that looked painful but it wasn't just so you know. All right, so I'm gonna do two more because I have two more left to do. So again, separating my hair, putting that in a clip to the side, get myself some foaming lotion. Now before I um, started this set, I washed my hair on a Monday, which is crazy. It's like freaking probably 10 o'clock at this point in the game and I gotta let this stuff dry before I go to sleep because I am not going to sleep with these rollers in my head but thankfully these curl former rollers dry really really fast so um it should be maybe an hour so i should be asleep by 11 30 which isn't terrible for me it's not the best but it's not terrible so like i said i'm just taking this fine tooth comb and gently very gently combing through my hair to attempt to get a smoother set okay so now that that's done Take another roller, like I said, put the roller into the, the hook into the roller, slide it up, and then you take your hair and you twist it twice, one, two, and then you stick the hook part onto your hair, the twisted part, you slide the roller up to your scalp. And then you slide the hook out. See? Pretty easy, right? Uh, last one. Hook roller. Slide it in. 
Foaming Style Lotion. The reason I got this one, I had Jane Carter's Foaming Wrap Lotion, but I felt like it didn't really give me any additional hold. I mean, I know it's really, really organic and stuff, but um, that doesn't matter if it doesn't give you the results that you need. Well, it does matter. Let me not say that because I do prefer to use natural products in my hair. Um, and I don't use things with parabens, I don't use things with cones, I don't use things with mineral oil or petroleum or petrolatum. Um, so, but this, um, this foamy lotion I have has a lot of good stuff in it. It has some things I can't pronounce in it, but there's nothing that, like, sets off a red flag in my mind that that's not a good idea for me to use. So, all right. Okay, so I'm just smoothing my hair down to try to encourage all my hair strands to go in the same direction. I'm twisting my hair twice. I am putting my roll, my hook onto my hair, sliding the roller up, smoothing my hair, and then I'm pulling the roller out. I mean, putting the hook out. There we go. So, that's curl formers. So, what I did was... They give you, uh, let me show y'all the box. This is the curl former box. It comes with 40 rollers, long and wide, six um, short and wide. So 46 in total uh, in a hook. And um, you're supposed to put um, all the pink ones on one side and all the orange ones on another side, but I can't remember which side goes on which for which direction you want your hair to curl so I was just like whatever it, it'll be fine um I can't remember how much I paid for this I think it was like $50 which is a lot of money for some rollers but I was encouraged I was um on Curly Nikki's website and like she has gorgeous hair and her hair is fine kind of like mine but her hair is I think finer than mine and her her set came out so so silky so I was like hmm that looks like a miracle so I bought it I bought it when my hair was like this short, so I clearly couldn't get any real use out of it anyway. Um, and I've used it twice since then. This is maybe my third or fourth time, I think, doing this set. And the reason I did, I'm doing it so I can um, rock this curl former set for a few days. And then I want to do a dry twist out, um, leave that in twist sorry dry twist, either flat twist or individual. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, do that, leave those in for two days, and then rock a twist out, and then I'll be on my wash day. So I think I'm going to try to do this cycle where I do a curl former set, a roller set, some kind of roller set that's going to elongate my hair. So then I can do a dry twist out, and I'll have maximum hang time. And then um, do a twist out, and then I'll have fab hair. So we'll see. I'm going to take you all through the process. So this is my curl former set. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come back in an hour when it's done or when I think it's done. Then I'll show y'all the results. And then um, I'm going to rock this for a couple days. And then I'll come back and show y'all when I do my, my dry twists and stuff. So, But um, I'll be back, y'all.